we should be concerned about demographic implosion. Why do you say that? So if you look at countries like Japan, most of Europe, China, and you look at the birth rates, in a lot of those places is only at about half of the sustaining rate. When you have an inverted demographic pyramid, so if you like, look at the, the pyramid and you've got age creation, 60-year-olds, 50-year-olds, 40-year-olds, 20-year-olds, you know, like sort of a demographic pr pyramid. Right. Um, and in some countries, it's sort of, it's like an upside-down pyramid, so it'll sort of fall over. It's like, it's just, it will not, will not stand. What we'll actually have in those countries is a very high dependency ratio, where the number of people who are retired is, is very high relative to the number of people who are net, net producers. And so you cannot, the, the, the social safety net will not hold. We didn't evolve for this because we sort of evolved to just always procreate and there wasn't birth control or anything. Right. We just like have lots of babies. It's like pop the course and like hopefully some of them would survive. That would be, that was like all of human history until very recently. And now it's, uh, you know, you've got cases like Japan where adult diapers outsell baby diapers. Europe's in a similar situation. China's headed the same way because you know they've had the one-child policy and then even though they've relieved the one-child policy, the social norm has become to have an average of one kid. So even when they relieved that requirement, it didn't change. You can, you can imagine, like people sometimes say, well, what about um, immigration? It's like, okay, look, there's one and a half billion people in China. Where is China going to get 700 million new people? Okay, that's like three Indonesias. <laughs> it's like, it doesn't work. And the, the full gravity of this will, it is not well understood, but will become a severe, severe issue in the, in the next few decades.